Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. You can also download the source code uh, uh, of this MATLAB programs and the model of this simulink based programming uh, from that website only. So in this particular video, we'll talk about how to access the data or how to uh, access the data generated within a Simulink model into a program or in an other sense, uh, how to invoke, uh, invoke a Simulink model from the MATLAB editor window. So open MATLAB and go through Simulink, create a new model. So uh, first we'll create a uh, test model and we will be generating some random waves like sine wave and then random number generator and then a signal generator. So now I'm making it a little large and let's commonly use block. We will using max because there are three signals. So let's change number of input to three and now add a scope there in order to display. Now just connect all these three. Uh, prior to running, let's go into the solver configuration. And instead of making it variable step, let's create a fixed step and let's take sampling period of 0 0.01. Okay, and now change the sampling period of all this, otherwise it may create a problem. And let's also change the frequency. Apply. Then. Frequency 5, and it is, sim it is using simulation time, that's fine. Okay, now let's run it. And let's see how the result looks like. Okay. Uh, okay, we have not changed the signal. Instead of sign, let's say we have a sort of wave. Okay. And uh, now uh, let's change the style of all axis. So that it become visible to the eyes. Okay, now so there are three waves being generated and are displayed on the scope. Fine. Now there's a we want to uh, transfer the all of the data into the MATLAB workspace. So we can do that from out one or uh, simply by out one or from to MATLAB workspace like this sim out. So uh, either we can use it like sim out, so it will send all the data to the MATLAB workspace, and we can also define the variable name there. And now if we run it, the sim out variable will be there, and uh, we can get all the values whatever we were uh, sending to the workspace. So this one way, but uh, uh, in this matter we need to run this uh, simulating model from here, and then we are able to get the data in workspace. So we'll also add uh, one more thing that is out one, and uh, let's delete it. Now let's say what we are getting. Uh, okay, first let's save it. Mm. Uh, we should name it editor model. Now let's run it. So it will create a variable y out, and again it will be having all the information uh, of the signal which is being sent out to the workspace. So that is another way of sending. And this seems to be quite good as. Uh, all the variables in a normal accessible form right in the case in a, like a matrix and it is very easy to use now we will run uh, learn how to 
access this particular model from command window so let's first create it and go to the editor window and make sure our current working folder is the same uh, where our model is lying there model is lying so we come to the desktop because we save the model at the desktop so first of all uh, we will create option for sim set like uh, how what will be the solver and let's say we have audi 4 and source workspace like in which workspace it will go and let's make it to the current and we will create a uh, simulation uh, settings type of object and now uh, simple uh, there is a command sim which is used to simulate the simulink model so we will just like sim the model name that is editor model and now the next matrix which provides the time duration so let's say we are running for 10 seconds and then options and the object which we created and then simply so it creates two objects like t out and y out so uh, this uh, y out provides uh, all the content of the information and if we want uh, we can access or individual one like plot y out one all rows come up first column then it was simple sine wave because the first signal which is there is the sine wave similarly we can plot the second that was the random numbers and third was your triangular wave so it is also not necessary to keep open this window uh, we can close it and still let's say clear again and uh, we can still access uh, that particular model uh, from the command window so let's run it again all the uh, without opening or without running the model we can directly access all the values here there is another way of sim set like uh, clear all and let's say this uh, value returns three values mainly like t time instant x and y now there is nothing to return in x format okay so this y is uh, uh, returning all the data uh, present and there and uh, that is x as the y so i hope you understand how to uh, uh, use this simulink model uh, into editor window this is also very helpful while doing the optimization because many times we create our um, uh, we create model on simulink and we want to optimize the parameters of that simulink model so in that case we can uh, write a script like this one uh, like uh, this is a script for uh, pid based simulink model to optimizing it so uh, we can write a program like this and we can call this cost function into other optimization algorithm and based on that uh, we can uh, <coughs> we can uh, uh, invoke this simulink model again and again and we can set the values of this uh, within this simulink model from here only and those parameter will be um, will be optimized there so we will create uh, further create and again a new video for uh, letting you know how to optimize the simulink based parameters through uh, our optimization algorithm like genetic based algorithm so that's it for this video thank you